for eliminating family. I told you all it was graduation. I don't know what you thought was coming to the party, but you know, when I show up at my graduations, y'all, I'm showing up to show out. What y'all showing up with tonight? Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. I am so ecstatic to be able to celebrate with you tonight on a journey, guys, that I know you will never, ever be the same with. See, I know the individuals that are on here tonight, the information that you learned over these past 28 days, even if you don't know that some seeds been planted, guess what? I know some seeds been planted. Because this wasn't something about me. See, this was something right between you and your daddy. And when our daddy is involved, <laughs> it's only a matter of time. So with that, Rachel, I would love if you would go ahead and open us up with prayer. And then we're going to get right on into tonight. We're not going to be long, but we are going to be strong. We're going to be powerful. And we're going to go wherever the Holy Spirit leads us tonight. Amen. Amen. Yes. What a party. I am excited. <laughs> Congratulations. So I'm going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you today. We honor you for this faith and this time. God, we thank you for these 28 days, for this challenge, for people accepting the challenge, for people challenging themselves. And so God, today, we just pray that what that today is, is quite the celebration, no matter what they did, no matter how much they did, the fact that they showed up today, let's just celebrate that. And so God, I just ask for you to cover this meeting. God, cover Lenisa as always. God, we thank you for her sacrifice, her willingness to show up for people to show up for herself, which in turn is her showing up for us. And so God just cover, God allow this to spread like wildfire, like never before, God. I thank you for the communion that people have began to have with you as a result of this program. And we're just asking you to take it to the next level. And so God cover this meeting, cover our hearts and our minds. God, let everything that was learned um, be embedded inside of us and not just something that we did just for a moment, but let it be something that has transformed our life, our our mind, our spirit forever. And so God, we thank you in advance for this meeting. Let no weapon formed against us prosper. When it comes to this meeting, let everything fall on good ground. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. And amen. How y'all feeling this evening? How you feeling? Okay, let me stop. Let me digress. Because I'm assuming that everyone over here has gone through the 28 days. Do I have any guests? Let me go ahead and ask that. Let me put my chat up. If you are a guest tonight and you have never, ever been a part of the 28 days, go ahead and put your name in the comment section. If not, we're going to swing it. Because that's why I said, Lord told me, Lenise, you can't come prepared. You got to have two or three game plans. Okay. Okay, it's just us. It's just my family. Oh, Rachel, this can really be fun. This can really be fun. I needed this one. I am so glad. Okay. Oh, we got one person. One new person. One new person. Where's she at? Where's she at? Orlando. 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 Who is Orlando a guest of? She just launched her business, mine. Oh, welcome, 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 welcome to the family. Okay, Orlando, okay, you girl, you can drink it all. You can drink it all the good, good. You can drink it all the good, good. And Rachel, um, I would love you. And this is the direction that God has me to go. If someone had a guess, I was supposed to allow the guess to share their testimony and then share why you invited Arlanda to this, to this platform for the 28 days. So the mic is all yours. And that's you. Huh? 
for me or for Arlanda? You want no, to for you, her? you start out and oh. then you say how you invited her, why you invited oh, her. Oh, okay. Yes, she's your yeah. guest. You've got to introduce us and tell us the story, your story. Oh, okay. So some my my 28 day challenge story. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So hi guys, Rachel Wiggum here. Um, <laughs> so my 28 day challenge story really is not this 28 day challenge story because in the midst of this 28 day challenge, I still juiced. So instead of the, the food component, let me just say that the food component was juicing for me. Um, but the, the way that I dropped into the 28 day, I don't even know if I'm going to be honest. I don't even remember how it happened. How did it happen? I don't even remember. Oh, no, either. It just, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But so with, with that being said, why don't you share why you chose to continue? Because it's not your first time. Yeah. It's not your second time. Yeah. It's like your third. You keep inviting people. And why did you open it up again to invite Arlanda to? Oh, 100%. Because this has been something that's just opened up my eyes in such a transformational way. I was just on a call before this, and I was speaking to some ladies about the Blue Zones, right? Um, if you've never watched them on Netflix, like watching about the Blue Zones and how they live just these peaceful lives and they make it to be centennials and all of that. And a lot of it had to do with their food. And in our world, um, food is not, we don't have a good relationship with food. And I don't know that I knew, okay, sh 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 I don't know that I knew that I didn't have a good relationship with food until the 28 day challenge. The 28 day challenge really opened up my eyes. I was pretty good when it comes to eating, but when it came to uh, <laughs> choosing happy, um, I can't say that I always chose happy. I'm gonna be honest, it, it was just blatant. And I think the one thing that really got me was the whole throwing away of the food because I have four kids. And so that ain't throwing away food, that is being resourceful, okay? Like you don't throw away food. So if they don't finish their play, I'm going to finish it. And so it just opened up my eyes watching the movies. I remember think, watching and about juicing and being like, that's too difficult. Okay. Like I could never juice like that would never be that fulfilling. And I absolutely love juicing. Like we just juice today. Like we juice on Sundays. So I absolutely love juicing and it's just transformed my life. I feel better. I have so much more energy. Um, my mind is clear. It, it, it's crazy. I feel more in control of my life. And I've been able to eliminate weight in the process that I struggled with after having Miss Zoe, who's loud here in my lap. It's just changed my life. And so, of course, I'm going to want that experience for other people. It's literally what I do. I am in the business of helping people change their life. I am in the business of helping people shift their perspective. I am in the business of letting people know there is more to life and they can have a higher quality of life. And so, of course, with Arlanda, Arlanda, excuse me, Arlanda signing up, it's something that I want for her to experience. Honestly, everybody that I encounter, I'm giving them the opportunity to come and be a part of this. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Arlanda, are you willing? We will not force you as a guest because you are a guest, but would you like to come on and kind of give your viewpoint as to why you were excited about jumping on tonight, um, being a part of the 28 day challenge? If you'd like to, Arlanda, we ain't going to force you, girl. Okay, I think Arlanda says I, I choose to be quiet at tonight. And that's okay. That's okay. Um, you all know before when Arlanda end up, y'all, the ones that know this program, she probably gonna be the one that's talked the most by the end of the next one. Cause y'all just know how all this go. But our but we are here. So with that being said, this is how I would like to give you all a treat. Everyone come on mic because I want to get some consensus on this one. I wanted to see who was going to show up. And at all graduations, you should be able, I should be giving out gifts. And my gift to you this evening is that I'd like to do a high reel, very high. It's going to be real quick and to the point. But I'm high reeling every week. I'm going to go live on my page, okay? 
if you want to go and share it to your page so that you can bring and expose your people, that's my gift to you. You know I never let this go live on my page. So my gift to you, if you want to share it tonight on your platform so that you can allow this gift to be given to your people, let me know. If that is something that you want to do, I need to hear voices. I don't need no, I don't need no, I need to hear why, why you want that to happen. But you're going to go live from on your Facebook tonight. Oh, well, yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. yeah. I got absolutely. personal members. What are you talking about? I got potentials. Yeah, absolutely. This is how I eat. Absolutely. Okay. So <laughs> everybody needs to get in place. You got to be, you know how to find me because I'm going from my personal page. Now it works. I'm going from my per So you'll have to go share it out to your page so people can see it. Does that make sense? But yeah. that is my gift back to you tonight. All right. So let me go ahead and get my platform ready so that we can get up and get going. And um, and then you can do what you get your captions, whatever you want to say to get people ready to watch on when you share it. And we'll be going live in a second. Okay, so when I come back, I need, when I go live, I need everybody to be on mic because we've got to be, it's celebration. And they need to hear all that. I need everybody celebrating, okay? So on mic, we got to be loud. And then Rachel, you can spotlight me, okay? I hate that I can't play my music, but Facebook may kick us off if I do that. So here yeah. we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right all right all right we are loud What's up? What's up, Facebook family? Yes, 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 yes. Hey, let's go. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. 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 Yes. Way to go. All right. Hey, look at Zoe. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Facebook, I know you're like my Facebook family. What in the world is Lenisa doing? And she looking tight and right. Yes, yes, yes. See, I don't know about you, but when we have graduation over here in the 28 days to eliminating right, we show up <laughs> and let everyone know that for 28 days, we've been eliminating weight, mind, body, and y'all what? So come on now. And tonight, we just wanted to give you a sneak peek as to what we've all been experiencing over this 28 days. And I'm going to tell you, it wasn't because of me that I'm here. I never give this out, guys. But I'm going to tell you, it is something special about this group of individuals that stayed the course. See, 163 people, do you all hear me? 163 people registered for this journey. And as I always say, everybody may want to want to win the race, 
But just because you say you want to win the wage race, do, are you committed to stand the test of time when it says being committed to winning the race? And tonight, there are so many people that we want to bless because these ladies were committed to winning the race. So tonight, if you are a part of their Facebook family, and you must be because you're on their page and you're getting to see this, you are getting ready to be blessed with a gift that usually I don't give just to everyone. But God said tonight, Lanisa, you need to open up the platform because you need to let everyone understand the blessing of the 28 days to eliminating weight and why. <laughs> we, as It Works group, hey, these people out over here that understand that it works and we've been knowing it worked for 22 years, why we said we want you to have a sneak peek. So before I get started, let me just quickly introduce myself for those that, that do not know me. My name is Lanisa Williams. And for some that want to put a title on me, yes, yes, yes. I am the field development manager for the East region with It Works. And I tell you, I love this company. I will always say I love this company. Do I work for this company? No, I work for God. But here you go. You ready to shout? God is a part of this company. And that's what I love. See, if you have a health problem, if you have a wealth problem, and if you have a, a spiritual problem, you might want to be right here with us because that's what we all do over here. We are all problem solvers. So yes, I wear the title of a field development manager. But what other titles do I wear, guys? I could say I'm an author, because I am a number one bestseller author. Could I say I'm a holistic health practitioner? I can. Can I say I'm a mother of three beautiful children, twin daughters that are 33, and I know I just messed you up? Because some of you all thought I looked like I was 33, but I'm not. I'm 55, guys. I just turned the big double nickel. But hey, I have a son that's 25. And why I'm here? It's because of those three. And see, I have two more. <laughs> and I, I'm going to be quiet because I almost spilled something right here. And I forgot I was loud, live, but I've got two grandkids as well. But I'm here because of them. I'm here because of them. See, let me digress and tell you my story. See, I was raised to be a powerhouse. Not because I chose, but because I was told. See, my mother had her PhD in education. She had her real estate license. She had her construction license, owned her own construction company, and did a little Amway on the side. And when I tell you my mama was a born hustler, she was, and she was raising me the same way. But, you know, something happened when I was five. See, Lanisa dealt with something called low self-esteem. See, at five years old, I was purposely, purposely poured a hot grease of skillet of oil on the right side of my body. Yeah, 19-year-old poured a hot skillet of grease on a five-year-old. And guys, I wish I could have said it was the physical pain that hurt me. No, it was the more the emotional pain. And because of that emotional pain, I didn't value who I was. I thought I was ugly. I was told I looked like a little boy. And so all I knew to do was walk in my mother's image because she was the what? She was the hustler. But then I realized in 2001, on February the 12th, that probably wasn't a best choice either. See, on 2001, I was with my mother at 8 p.m. on February the 11th. And by February the 12th, 2001, 1 a.m. in the morning, my mother at 56 years young had passed away. I just told you I'm 55. My mother had a full of life. And I tell you, I was so angry with God. I said, God, why would you allow this to happen to my mother? Are you kidding me? You're, I mean, my mother walked on water. What, what, are you, what, what are you doing? And I'll never forget him saying, Lanisa, baby, <laughs> yeah. Your mother was very proactive when it came to her career, but very reactive when it came to her life. 
and her health. And I don't want you to grow up like that. And I wish I could tell you, everyone that's listening to this, that I, I heeded that advice, but I didn't. See, I didn't heed that advice that I needed to be proactive with my health until I had a scare in 2012 myself. But I kept saying, God, no, not me, not me. And that's when he said, Lanisa, stop, stop. So hence, I want to show you a program tonight that God brought to me and I'm ready to share it with the world because it's something that doesn't just bless me but it has blessed thousands upon thousands of individuals and you get a sneak peek into it tonight. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right on in. Now, this is the high reels. I'm gonna let you know, Lanisa's is not digging deep in this. Please don't ask no questions. Don't send no chats. Don't do no comments. No, I don't know. Ain't gonna know. Only thing I will say, I know you're gonna screenshot some stuff. I know you are, but don't, don't forget to give the person the credit, all right? Don't just be making up stuff. See, I'm out here because I know this ain't mine, but it's God's. And you know what? I gave him the credit. So if you screenshot stuff, give people credit. All right, let's, let's start sharing these screens and getting this thing going. All right. From beginning. Exit. All right. And I'm going to share screen. beginning wait y'all yeah, know me in this technology come on now <laughs> all right let's share this screen now here we go advanced whiteboard here we go share screen all right let's do a quick from beginning all right thumbs up tell me my Facebook. All right, we good. We're good. All right. So what you're getting ready to be privileged to is a quick review of the 28 days to eliminating weight that we have all been going through. And you may even have time to hear one quick testimonial. But here's the review. Week one, as you all know, we all are dealing with something called what? <laughs> weight issues. And we may say, you know what, hold up, wait a minute. You know, Lenny, I don't have a weight problem. Is it really a problem in this world? Well, week one, when we started out this journey, we saw, yes, this is a pandemic across. The, everybody is having issues when it comes to obesity. And because we are balling it up, acting like it doesn't exist, <laughs> We are now dealing with what? A third of the United States adults are what? Obese. And because we are obese, we are dealing with some killers in this world. But if we would just lose weight, it would decrease some of the risk for the top four killers. And if this hasn't affected you and your family, you at least know someone who has been affected by either high blood pressure or cancer or strokes or diabetes. And here's the thing. Do we think it has to last and be that way? No. See, there's a study that shows for every extra pound of weight you carry, you lose about a month off of your life. And obese people lose eight to 10 years unnecessarily. So here's my question that I always put out there. Are you adding years to your life or are you subtracting them? Come on now. And the world is showing us this is a problem. We cannot ignore this problem, but is it really killing the world? <laughs> not necessarily. It's preventable. And this is why I did not hesitate when it worked said, Lenisa, will you come over and let's, hey, come and in, be a part of our family. Why? Because they have products that support every goal of your life. Guys, it's not what I just know about. It's what I know, no, no. Why? But see, I told you, I, back in 2012, I had my own scare. But see, God had an opportunity not only to put me through a program that I'm getting ready to share with you, but he also introduced me to a young lady who I won't do her name right now because we don't want to go public and say that, but 
when she brought me to this company and I saw these products, see, when God took me through my Bella Body program with the It Works products, guys, I will tell you, it changed my entire life. And you're going to see proof in just a second. So do we have to prove to you that our weight loss system management works? No, we've been around 22 years. If it didn't work, we wouldn't be here. Do we have to prove to you that our nutritional products work? No, we've been around 22 years if you wouldn't be here, right? Or our active lifestyle or our skincare line. Yes, we do skincare. Y'all wonder why I'm looking 50. I don't look 55. Come on now. I utilize these products. But see, something happened. See, when I came to It Works, I already had a program out there. See, God blessed me back in 2012 with a program called the Bella Body System. And it's the 90-80-20-10 rule. And let's talk about that real quick. See, the Bella Body System was based on Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 to 23. Go ahead, write it down. Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 to 23. See, God said, Lenisa, I'm tired of you wait using all this, you know, all this exercise. And who out there exercises all the time? I did. Who out there jumped from diet to diet? I did. I tried everything. And did it work? Yeah. But I kept putting it on and taking it off, putting it on and taking it off until God said, Lanisa, let go of all these worldly tools and pick up a spiritual tool. And that's when he took me to Galatians chapter five, verses 22 to 23, which are the fruit of the spirit. And if you don't know them, you might want to know them. Yes, you do. And see, for nine weeks, God helped me change not just my mind but my whole body see in nine weeks guys I eliminated without exercising and without dieting and I'm not telling you this to impress you but I'm telling you to inspire you that in nine weeks I eliminated over 52 plus pounds yes and the key word is eliminate I didn't lose nothing because anytime you try to lose something what you gotta do you gotta go find it and I ain't trying to find that way so God gave me something that not only blessed me, but has blessed thousands. But I realize most people are not going to take that time to go through this program. So hence, God said, Lanisa, come on, you got to change some things. Because see, most people do this. See, most people go start at the 10%. They start running their mouth. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what you do when you get ready to lose weight. What do you do? Start talking about it. And you know what? If it was 100 people, and 10% of the people started saying, I want to lose weight, would they have a better chance of losing weight? Absolutely, they would. But does it make sure that they really going to lose weight? Mm, let's see. See, most people go from talking about it to doing what? Going to the body, the other 20%. See, this is how people do. When we talk about the body, what are we talking about? Exercise. How many of you have done that? You talked about it and then you ran to the gym. And, you know, when people run to the gym, I always say, oh, my gosh, here it goes. Here it goes. Because what happens that first week, you don't know what you're doing. The second week, you're like, oh, I'm in there. You start adding weights. And by that fourth, fifth week, you're like, wait, um, my scale is not moving. And I feel like I'm killing myself and I'm really sore. Or my scale has actually gained more weight. And I, I'm like, what is going on? Well, you know what you do? You do sit out and you know why you really can't see what's going on with your body when you do it that way. One, if you're working out wrong, you are building muscle without what? Eliminating fat first. And you know what? Muscles weigh more than fat. So that's why you see that weight gain out the gate. But if you don't know that, you already given up on you. And that's where most people quit. But there are some people that says, mm, I'm going to hold on and I'm going to go and what? I'm going to do that 80%. And that 80% is your mind. And I know somebody just said, what? Mine? Lenisa, you, um, your diagram is all wrong. The mind is listed in your stomach. See, hold up. Mm -hmm. We understand over here, the mind is the stomach. See, 
with the Bella Body program, when I became a holistic health practitioner, yes, I am a holistic health practitioner, as well as a certified juice therapist, going through that certification, I realized, wait, my body don't have one mind. I thought my mind was here, but actually the mind that really supports my body starts in my gut. See, your gut brain, if you see, has something called microbiomes. Microbiomes, Google them. And you either got some good microbiomes, which are some good gut buddies, or you have them bad ones. And you know what they do? They influence how your neurotransmitters work. Some of you are wondering why you stress and you have anxiety. Are you moody or behavior? Why? Because you've got some bad gut buddies. And when those bad gut buddies talk to your brain, guess what it influences? Your weight gain, your bowel movements, your nutrient derivative, and your microbial balance. So don't you want to deal 80% should be dealing with that brain? Absolutely. And so the last print, the 90%, when it comes to Bella Body, is the mind. See, what I can't do, I can't transform the mind. Remember I told you that I was that little girl that was burned purposely at the age of five with a hot skillet of grease by someone 19 years old, guys. Do you not know my mindset was messed up? thought it was ugly. I always thought I like, God, why did you even let me live? I remember asking my mom, mama, why did God make me so ugly? And my mother didn't even have a response. All she could say was Lanisa, God, I can't change the outside of you, baby, but I can always make you be beautiful on the inside. And y'all that, that worked for a moment, but you know what that also did? See, if I wanted to be beautiful on the inside, that means I needed to love and please everybody, which then meant I was becoming a what? A people pleaser. <laughs> so low self-esteem, lack of self-work, and your people pleaser, and codependency. Oh, y'all, come on. My mind was messed up. And it wasn't until God transformed here. See, 90% where your mind goes, your body and your life cannot help but to follow. And so many people have given up on themselves because they start out wrong. But with the Bella Body System and the 28 days to eliminate weight, see, we understand the It Works products, they work, but we also understand that 90% of our concentration need to be on our mindset. We also understand the 80% needs to be on our what? The gut. This is how we start. Then we do the body. Then we what? We talk about it because the best blessings are those that what we give away. See, the body achieves what the mind believes. And remember, I told you I had proof. Don't believe me. Come on now. And these are just, I can show y'all some hot mess stuff. But guys, it works if you work what? It. So each week we also review a movie. I don't just be the expert. I allow you to be the expert on your life journey. See, this is not a diet. A diet has an end date. No, we do what? Lifestyle changes. So every week they have a movie to review. And I tell you, this was a, a great one. So week two, week two, what did we do? We went right on in to what? Getting unstuck. See, one of the main things that we do when we are not happy is what? We overeat. We overeat. And God told me <laughs> back in 2012, Lenisa, choose happy. Choose happy. Before you put a piece of food in your mouth, baby girl, I need you to choose happy. And so I'm going to break that acronym down. And, and I know you're like, Lenisa, those of you that know me know I'm an acronym queen, but if you don't know me, yeah, I, you're going to hear some acronyms tonight. So let's just go really quickly. So before you put any food in your mouth, first of all, you got to what? Break. Ask yourself, H, are you hurting or hungry? Sometimes you don't really want that food, but do you really want it? Well, well, why do you need to ask yourself? Well, according to an article posted in the American Psychological Association website, nearly eight out of 10 Americans feel what? because of what we just came through, the pandemic, they feel stress. 
So a lot of times you're eating, not because you're hungry, but because you're what? Stress. And seven out of 10 Americans said they were higher levels of stress because of the pandemic. So you need to ask yourself a couple of questions. Can taking a bite of this food really help me feel better? Hmm. And if I know you're hurting, yes, and you're in pain, but why are you really hungry? You got. You have to pause to ask. So we went through an acronym called STOP. And now everybody on here, huh? Mm -mm, they're not going past H before they understand if they're hurting or they're hungry. But once you realize, hey, I'm not hungry, I'm not hurting, and I'm hungry, then you can go on to A. A stands for associate. Do I associate what I'm getting ready to eat with what? Comfort. Come on now, y'all know we eat them comfort foods. Guys, even though I wasn't born in the South, honey, I, my mama was raised in the South. And let me tell you, we ate everything from the rooter to the tutor. Yes, I did, Lanisa. And when I stressed, I mean, oh, forget about stress. You know, my family, when something was happy, you what you ate. When something was sad, you ate. When we, when you mad, you ate. When you glad, you ate. Y'all, come on now. So anytime you want to comfort it, you want, you went to food. But is that good? Well, studies show <laughs> when you go for comfort, it can really hurt you. And most people go for comfort with what kind? Sugar. But studies show that sugar may actually be the worst thing for you to go to because of what? Depression. As a matter, what does it do? It worsens. And if you keep doing it over long terms, what is it going to do? It can hurt you. So if you're eating out of comfort, stop. But if you say, Lanisa, no, uh-uh, hell on. I'm hungry. And I don't associate what I'm getting ready to eat with comfort. But the next letter is P. Is the portion right? Is it right or is it not right? Come on now, let's talk about it. Because it's okay to eat a piece of a pot, but are you eating a whole pie? Hmm. And you have to ask yourself that. And here is five harmful effects to overeating. Not going to go over with, them, but anytime you overeat, what? You're putting on excess body fat. You're um, disrupt your hunger control. You're increasing your disease risk. You may even what? Nauseate it. And of course, we all get that what? That itis. So <laughs> portion control is necessary. But if you say, hey, no, the portion is right, then you can go to the next P. And the next P is, do you eat in privacy? Do you have to eat in privacy? Do you hide? And I know a lot of people said, no, Lanisa, I don't, I'm not a private eater. Oh, uh-huh. Let's see. We, well, we, we looked at six signs that said you were. How many of you eat food that you're getting ready to scrape off your child's plate in the, in, in the trash can? Oh, no. Oh, I ain't going to waste that. Mm. Oh, that's secret eating. Oh, you didn't know that? How many of you sneak food and have secret stashes? Yeah. So we learn how to get over this and how to overcome secret and eating and privacy. The last why. If you realize, no, I'm, I'm hungry. I don't associate this with, but with comfort. I, my portion's right. I'm not trying to eat it in private. The last why is, hey, are you in control of your food or is your food controlling you? And you know what I mean? Y'all know the term hangry, hangry. Y'all know some of y'all real messed up out there. We can't even talk to you when you go in on food. But let me tell you, I can't control that. And that's why that 90%, God, he's the only one. See, Galatians 5 says what? The fruits of the spirits. And one of those is what? Self-control. The only way to fight this battle, this weight battle that you're having starts here. And you have to build these fruits. And this week, guys, we dealt with the next movie. And this movie is the movie of all movies because this truly touches the area that I love, which is juicing. That's why I became a certified juice therapist. So this was our second movie for week two. Now week three, guys, we talked about the benefits of what? Juicing after we watch the movie. Very quickly, what does juicing do? It increases your vitamins and minerals in your body. Bottom line in 15 minutes, 15 minutes, when you juice, your body immediately starts absorbing those nutrients. 
compared to it takes your body six to eight hours just to begin to break down your solid foods. So you see why juicing gives you so much energy and why it heals and resets the body and goes right into that next slide, energy. Anybody that juices correctly, and here's the key word that you hear me juicing correctly, don't, don't get, don't go for the hype, don't get caught up. All juicing ain't the same juicing. When people call me, I'm like, nah, you, that, that's that, that's that, um, whatever, what you done saw on Instagram or something, whatever. No, there's ways to do it properly because when you do it properly, it's gonna energize you and it's gonna what? Decrease your inflammation. And inflammation, I will tell you, I hear so many people and a young age dealing with inflammation. And I want to say, baby girl, just reset that gut. Reset that gut. And resetting the gut is why you want to do this. Because look, about 330 billion cells are replaced daily. And guys, if you reset with juicing in 80 to 100 days, that is equivalent almost to a whole new you. Juicing is no joke. It helps with your migraines, your mood swings, your metallic issues, and numerous systems associated with poor digestion. So was I excited about that? Of course. And then our last movie that we watched was Game Changers. And man, 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 this was the one that you wanted your husband to sit with you or your, your boo thing to be with you on that one. And finally, we ended last week. And last week, what we were talking about, that leaky gut, those 10 systems of leaky gut. And what was leaky gut? Y'all, we talk about those good and bad gut buddies, but it's a condition in where the lining of your small intestines become what? Damaged. And guys, when this is damaged, you know what it does? It leaks through your intestine and it floods your, um, your bloodstream. So what are some things that we learn to avoid? These were some of the items. And then the best part of it all, oh, we got educated on the product of the week. See, we didn't just look at how we need to change our mind, body, and soul. We also did what? We looked at our super greens. We looked at the product that I tell people, if you want to juice on the go, my clients who are out and about and they can't juice when they're out traveling, I say, you must get the It Works Super Greens. With the pre and the probiotics, I mean, are you kidding me? Another um, item that we highlighted and used was a simple aloe. You see the features and the benefits. I'm not going to go over each one of them. Could I? Yeah. But why do I have to? This is why It Works is the best company. We have great third-party information. Just go look at it. It works. We've been in, we're, we're, we're debt free. We, we don't owe nobody. And if we owe somebody, come on now. We, we know this works. Simple aloe. Another one that I always tell individuals, superfood shakes. If you're looking for a vegan shake, did you hear what I'm talking about? A vegan with fiber, with 22 vitamins and minerals and 15 grams of plant-based protein. Hello, I'm in the gym building these muscles. I need what? Protein. And it helps with my metabolism. And you ready to shout? It's suitable for kids. Yeah. So we talked about that and cleansing. Sometimes you got to do that reset. And when I started with It Works, I immediately called some of my clients that I do with my own company and said, hey, hold up. Wait, y'all want to do this cleanse over here? Because it's gentle. Because I'm going to tell you, the cleanse that I was giving them wasn't nothing gentle about this, but this cleanse, oh, it's good. And see, we don't just talk about things over here. We are about them. In two days, this is what we did. That This is how we did it. And guys, don't forget, don't forget what started It Works. This is why I love our company. This is why I love who we are. Don't forget the wraps. Don't forget that you can see results in as little as what? 45 minutes. Yeah, you can put it on the back fat, the thigh fat, the, 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 the booty fat, whatever fat you're trying to eliminate. And guys, pictures after pictures for 22 years, this product is killing it. Not just for women, but for what? Men too. And see, over the last 28 days, we have all been on a movement together. 
And in that movement, we got loud. Remember I said that 10%? So if you're wondering why the people that you've been following, been posting, see, they've been sharing their journey and about how God has been blessing them and truly eliminating weight in their mind. And see, when you eliminate weight in your mind, everything happens. And at this point, I'm going to stop sharing my screen because now we're getting into some proprietary information and we can't keep going. But I did want to pause and ask Joy Race and Rachel Wiggum to come and join me on this platform real quick. Joy Race and Rachel Wiggum. Joy Race and Rachel Wiggum. Can you bring them? Okay, you guys come on mute. All right, all right. Now I know I put you guys on the spot and I know Rachel's like, what's going on? And Joy's like, but I could not close up this um, portion of it with allow the two of you truly sharing about two to three minutes of your own personal testimony as to what not only it works as done to change your life, but how being a part of the 28 days has blessed you to the point that it not only blessed you, but you like, I'm taking, I'm sharing all my, all my perks members and I'm just telling my family members and it's changed. I, I want to hear that because a lot of times people think it's just me. And then I want you to give one non-scale goal and one scale goal. Because sometimes people need to hear them, hear the results, hear the numbers. Because you know, you know, we we don't believe it till we hear it. So, Rachel, um, no, I'm gonna let you in, Rachel. Joy, I'm gonna start with you. Y'all got two minutes. Just be you. Share. Your okay. Story. You guys can hear me. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hi guys. I'm Joy. Um. So I found this journey back in December of last year. I was at my wits end, I, the products were working and I was doing okay, but there was just a missing piece. And the missing piece was the spiritual part of this journey and learning to love myself because I hated myself. I, I even contemplated suicide, but thanks to this amazing program and God using Lanisa, I'm not that person anymore. <laughs> Thank the Lord. And I love myself and I just been taking my health so serious. And I found out that Certain foods are causing me to be sick during this journey. And I had to eliminate those foods and they're not in my diet anymore. And it's not always easy, but I feel so, so good. So good. And I know when I don't feel good, I know I ate something that my body doesn't like, and we're all different. So not everyone's going to be a vegan like me, but I just feel so good. I have so much energy. I have so much life and my non-scale victory. I'll show you guys. I fit into this dress. I haven't worn this in 10 years. This is the dress I wore when I met my husband. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, Joy, people don't know because everybody don't know what you started out with. Are you are you willing to start out to say what you started out weighing with and what you're in now or dress size at least? Well, yeah, I mean, I was 65, I've eliminated 65 pounds since I started this journey. Yeah, and I feel amazing. And I was a size, I think I was like a size 24, but when I, like four years ago, when I started, it works in the beginning, I was 385 pounds and I was a size 28 and now I'm a 14. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we over here. That's why we over here. My body and soul. When I tell you, when I met this jewel, y'all, I'm going to tell you, I love Facebook, but I hate Facebook. I ain't going to lie to you. I love you, Facebook, but I hate you. Because this young lady put herself out there about four or five months ago. And she was trying to get encouragement from our family, Facebook. And she started just working out. And y'all know the comments that were put under her? Rachel, they were so mean and nasty. And God said, but I don't even know. And that's how I found you. And it was like, okay, God said, uh-uh. For every bad comment, Lenise, I need you to put a good comment and encourage her and encourage her and encourage her. And guys, please understand, you don't know what somebody is going through. And if you see somebody 
at least trying to become the best version of themselves. If you can't say nothing good, don't say nothing at all. Because you don't know what you were doing to this one. But this is what I do know. Every bad thing that you were trying to do, God was turning it for good. Because when I tell you her walk and her talk now, if you try to shut her up, woo, <laughs> you better get ready. Y'all, she might come after you for real on that one. She might just come after you. So I just hope you all understand that I don't care what you're going through. Even if you feel like I, there's no way, there's no way I, I have, you know, she, you heard how much she weighed and then you heard where she was as far as mindset. Don't think you, there's no hope. The only time you don't have hope if you sit in silence and hurt by yourself. There's a whole community here ready to love on you, but you have to choose to want to be loved on. All right, Rachel, come on, girl, talk to me. And I need you to talk about baby girl and all, everything. Mama, the, uh, everything. Just go. You got two, three minutes. Go. That ain't gonna work. I know, girl. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. So funny. Um, no idea how in the world I stumbled upon the program. Not even sure. I don't know. I'm actually curious now, so I might have to figure it out. Um, and anyways, we ended up starting and, uh, Lanisa did this for my organization, organization and my team. So my name is Rachel Wiggum, by the way top income earner in it works global to god be the glory been here for 10 years and um it's crazy because once i did the 28 day challenge i felt like i had not been in health and wellness for 10 years that was like mind-blowing to me i've had in health, a health and wellness business for 10 years but i feel like i'm finally learning <laughs> the things that i needed to learn to not to and you you ever had a repeat um customer y'all know what i'm talking about like somebody who goes on a 90 day challenge or doesn't. And then they sign up again a year later because they canceled their, their subscription. Like that was real life. I don't feel like I was really helping them. But once I learned about the microbiomes, about the, just everything, it's so much information. I was like, Lanisa, you messed up my whole life. It, it put me in a position to where my eyes were open and they could never be closed. And they didn't need to be closed. I already knew spiritual was important, but it pushed me to go the distance when it came to my spiritual, but then also made me pay attention to my gut, like really pay attention to it and understand that that was the foundation of everything. And so because of my yes to the 28 day program, shout out to my husband because he did it right along with me as people on my team did it and some of my perks members. But then from there, um, we went into the nine week challenge and she didn't even say anything about that, but we went through the nine week journey and the nine week journey. I only started it because I knew about it, but I honestly did never want to do it because I didn't want to juice because I'm not about that life, even though I am about that life. Right. But I didn't want to juice because I was low key, a little afraid of it. You know, I don't know. I just felt like it took away my power when really it gave me my power back. But I only decided to do the nine week challenge because I went to the doctor with my mom and we got some um, disturbing news. And I called Lanisa and I was like, yo, um, my mom got this disturbing news. I know your program works. I've seen it work. I know that it will work on the whole person and not just the weight because it's not just the weight. This is so much deeper than weight because of everything that my mom has been through. And she's holding on to more than weight. And I just knew that Lanisa was the person to help me out. And I told her straight up, I'll pay you whatever I got to pay you. I said, we can make some arrangements. I don't care. I said, I want you to take my mom through this program. I know it's about the fruits of the spirit. I know it'll teach her the things that she needs to be taught. I know that it'll make her fall back in love with the mom that raised me. Like I knew that something in me just knew it. And so Lanisa began, so I started the program only because of my mom, right? I'm just supporting her. <laughs> and it transformed my life. Like I'm gonna say non-scale victories for me, period, would be my mom. I don't even know how much weight my mom has eliminated at this point. She'll probably drop it on here because she's, anyways. So she probably, I think her non-scale victory is like 
30 pounds my mom was able to lose over the nine weeks um not lose eliminate over the nine weeks it may even be more i think at one point she was like almost to my weight and i was like wait a second like what are we what are we talking about here um it was crazy and then my grandma was a part of it my grandma is a part of it um and just the transformation that i have been able to see through my grandma as well as my mom and then we got my granddaddy out here juicing for my grandma like it was just all just insane my husband he loves to juice which is insane because if you know my husband is super picky scale victories for myself i actually struggled with a lot after i had my daughter and my fourth child and it, i was struggling to get the weight off like it was it, my body needed a reset that's why i said yes to the juicy it was a hard reset for my gut i needed it yes our products are effective they're so effective but i needed a hard reset and not a hard reset that was gonna have me out here boo-booing on myself because that ain't that ain't what it is but anyways, so it was a hard reset and this hard reset didn't just reset my gut, it reset reset my mind, it reset my spirit. It made me visit and, and look at things that I, I hadn't necessarily looked at before. That when you juice and you go into this place of eating the things that you're supposed to when your gut is healthy, the Holy Spirit, you get to feel the Holy Spirit on a whole nother level. And I can say that, which is crazy for me, but that's why I've been with It Works for 10 years because I can talk about God. I, I, I don't know if you've ever been in a corporate world where you can't talk about Jesus. Like, I talk about Jesus every single day and I get paid to do it. And so that's something that I love. And so when Lanisa's program just came in, it was so in alignment with everything that I was already doing. But then it challenged me to be a person that walks in the fruits of the spirit. And that's the crazy part because I used to be a person that'd be like, um, patience is a virtue that I fail to possess. And I was okay with just leaving it at that and walking away. But... There are so many things that, I mean, that's not right, but it, it's just changed my whole life, y'all. Like, it's changed my life. I've been able to eliminate over 20 pounds myself, even after going on my weight loss journey, weight elimination journey after my daughter. Um, but then it's also my mom. Every time I open up my eyes and I think about this, this program, I'm always going to think about what this, that it gave me my mom back. That's what I say. This program gave me my mom back. And so I'm very passionate about it. I'm passionate about sharing it. I'm passionate about having people get into it. I don't care how many times you have to do it. When I went through it with my team, I saw their eyes spark up like never before. People came back to life. People started loving themselves. People started walking in victory. They started to speak up and know that their voice matters. And so it's so much more than the weight that you eliminate physically, but that weight that you eliminate on a spiritual and mental and a gut place, okay, it just, oh, you just feel like a brand new person. And so that was not two minutes because how dare you? How it worked, but you minutes. know what? I got I told you, I was not guided. What a God, I tell you, when I started, I said, the Holy Spirit said, Lanisa, you just got to let it flow the way it going to flow. And so, girl, you were on it, on it, on it. Only one thing I do want you to bring up, my babies. Zaire oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, I told you I could talk about it all day. So, yes, Zoe, it's Zoe and Zayden. Zoe and Zayden, because oh. Trey and oh, Zaire, we're going to pray for them. But Zoe, my, my one-year-old absolutely loves juice, okay? Not even just the juice. It started with the 28-day challenge. Zoe loves vegetables. Like, the crazy thing about it is a lot of parents, they feel like your, your kids have to be well, okay, listen, this, see, this is a whole nother conversation right here because I changed up my whole life, y'all. When I started learning about these carcinogens, I, my, my team laughs at me. I'd be like, bro, you, you don't love me trying to feed me these carcinogens. Like, don't, don't bring me to your party and you out here got carcinogens on the, the, the table. Like, you trying to kill everybody. Like, it was so funny because I was extreme, but it's stuff that I won't buy from my house anymore because I love my family and I don't want to set them up. Once I truly understood what was going on and my eyes were open, I was like, what have I been doing? Like, how have I been conformed to this world? That was really what it made me feel like. How have I been so conformed to this world that my eyes are not open to the things that could truly, well, not even could truly, could, they are harming me. And so my, my daughter, she absolutely loves eating vegetables. Every time my Jaden, they love eating my salad. Zaire, he actually loves broccoli now. Never in life. Crazy. I learned how to cook without certain stuff. 
I told my mom the other day, I said, I prefer amino acids. Okay, give me the coconut ones. They taste good. And give me some um, nutritional yeast on my food. Okay, I'm on point. Like, can't tell me nothing about some all-purpose seasoning. And make sure it don't have no salt in it. Because when it got salt in it, it just makes it nasty. And I'm like, who is this? talking but i've learned my taste buds are totally different and i actually feel so much better about the food that i'm eating and the food that i'm cooking and then last thing eczema it started with me i juiced for about a week and the eczema was gone from my hand i kid you not like and i had a pretty bad patch from my last bout with my daughter i hadn't had eczema in years but i needed a hard reset with my gut um, because I couldn't get rid of it and now my son y'all and if you know and I actually got to take another picture on Monday My son he does the aloe plus juicing and we have done steroids kid you not steroids doctors all the allergists Everything and nothing was working. It was almost like his skin was going against everything that they were giving him And his skin is like cleared up like crazy. Wait till y'all see this most recent picture. It is cleared uh, it is clearing up like my baby's body is healing itself from the inside out and so i'm a fan and we will forever be fans and i don't care what nobody's talking about if you don't believe that it works try it and then once you try it and it doesn't work then you can holler at me i think that was it i think that just like dropped the mark and just but at the end of the day at the end of the day, thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Joy. Um, Facebook family, as you can see, I could have had testimony and testimony. I know everybody's sitting on the back saying, Lanisa, hey, bring me up, bring me up. But because of the limited time, guys, we just really, I wanted to give the gift back to the individuals that completed this journey. That's why I'm all dressed up and dialed, dolled up. This was graduation night. And we celebrate each other's successes. See, we understand that God said that we are each other's brothers and sisters keepers. And so over the past 28 days, we've been loving on each other. We've been holding each other accountable. We've been crying. We've been laughing. And when I see individuals don't just talk about it, but be about it, I said, and especially this is a holiday weekend. I'm like, hold up. Okay, how y'all want me to give your gift? And they were like, okay, yeah, go live. I need you to share this with all my other people. And I, and I smiled because that's how my mother raised me. My mother has always told me, Lanisa, the best blessings are those that you can give away. And so tonight, I pray that this was a blessing to you, that we gave you a sneak peek into what it worse can do for your body. And how being a part of the 28 days to eliminating weight will not just change the weight in your body, but more importantly, it'll change the weight in your mind. And when your mind is changed, oh, your body and your life cannot help but to follow. People ask me, Lanisa, what's your secret? You ready? You ready? You want to know my secret? My secret is just me showing up authentic as Lanisa. And that's what the 28 days is all about. You becoming the best version of yourself. This is not a one size fit all program, guys. This is where you come in and you allow the daddy of all daddies, your daddy, the Holy Spirit to mold you and to help you remember because you know, you, you do know that's what you, you miss it. You, you, you do, you, you, you don't think you were searching for something else. You don't, right? Because that's why y'all all searching. You searching for that peace that surpasses all understanding because you've all had it. And you know what the Holy Spirit wants to do? Help you to remember how to get back to it. So with that, guys, we thank you for allowing us to kind of drop in on your home or your, your car. Or, I don't know where you're at right now. But thank you for allowing us to celebrate with us. Well, how I will say that? Thank you for celebrating with us tonight. And thank you 
for taking some time to not be motivated. I need you to hear that. We didn't come on here to motivate you tonight. Rachel Wiggum said something so powerful and I have to close with what she said because it all. every time I think about motivation and inspiration, because I don't motivate people, I inspire people. Don't get it twisted. And y'all saw my thread. Don't get that twisted. I ain't here to motivate you. Motivate you. You, you got to do it yourself. I'm here to inspire you, but not inspire you to be like me. I'm a hot mess. I'm inspiring you to be like him, the best version of yourself. But we can't motivate you to do that. And Rachel said, you know what? If you hungry, we ain't got to motivate you. And see, most people are not hungry. Y'all just dreaming. You just desiring. Uh-huh. Yeah, you dreaming. You desiring. You've been dreaming. You desire. Matter of fact, you're going to get to dream and the desire again because we can already be into a new year. Uh-huh. <laughs> y'all still dreaming and drawing when y'all came in 2023. But see, what Rachel brought up as, a, as her master's, master's, in psychology, yes. So she knows to stay in the mind. She said when she dealt with individuals that were addicts, when they wanted, they hungered for it. Oh, they going to figure out how to get what they going to get. Come on. Have y'all ever saw somebody that was, you know, an, an, an addict? that wanted something? I don't care what it was. They hungered for it. They were going to get it regardless. That's the kind of hunger you need to have for your life right now. Stop desiring it. Stop dreaming it. Hunger for it. Hunger for it. Hunger for it. And quit making excuses. Quit saying that it runs in your family. It does not run in your family. Quit saying high blood pressure, high the diabetes, cholesterol. Quit saying that runs in your family. It does not. It runs in your kitchen. Because you eating like your mama ate and your mama's eating like her mother ate and her mother, people wake up. Allow God to transform every bit of who he's called you to be. Because what I know, if you heard my voice tonight, you have a calling on your life. You have some names connected to your life. Yeah. And God just wants you to be around so that you can be the blessing that he needs you to be for somebody else. And come on, guys, y'all know what Lanisa Gimray do. With that, what I'm going to do, y'all, come on, come on with that. Do so. We All right, you guys, hold on, and we're going to close you guys out properly. I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to quit my live, stop recording. Did we stop live? Make sure that is stopped. Live on. All right, I think we finished. All right, and make sure that stopped. Let me get over there. Let me go look. It's stopped. Okay, it is. All right. Just want to make sure, y'all, because I don't need to be over there. It is stopped, right? Okay. Guys, I love you. Now, what do you need to be doing with that? Go out there and share your testimonials. Go out there. People will probably want to follow up and say, how can I be a part of it? The next one. And so what I wanted to do is based on, I will over the next couple of days, you see another date that's come, going to come out, but I'm going to make an event right now so that you can actually see who is coming because of you. Okay. And you will know that, and it'll be something that you can start tracking. So um, I'm going to figure out technically how all that works, um, but I wanted to even dig deeper in that. The last thing that I would love you all to do is this, and let me share my screen so that we can end it right. All right, and again, congratulations. One of the things I'm not gonna, um, 
Um, I always tell people, you know, did you, I mean, did you really put your all into this? Nothing matters if you're more vulnerable to yourself. So did you really give your hundred percent? And if you didn't, you felt when it came to meal and you felt when it came to the exercise and you felt when it came to the thing, you can have a do-over. And we all want to do over because we understand the importance of what this can do to our lives. So we will have another fellow body, but this is what I need you to do. People go by what they see. Please go write a review. Please go write a review. <laughs> Please go write a review. People, if they don't see reviews, they don't want to do it. So take the time and go write a review. And with that, I am going to stop sharing. And do we have any questions, comments? I'm proud of you guys. Any questions, comments? And you were the first class that I ever, ever have gone live on my page. I just have a shout out. Yes. I have a shout out to Nicole Wells. She is not the person that you connected me with months ago. She has been showing up and going live every single day and putting herself out there. And I see you, girl, and your your harvest is coming, girl. Don't give up. Don't give up. Even though sometimes we feel like we're not making a difference or people aren't watching, they're watching. Your time's coming, girl, and you look amazing tonight. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. And you know what, Joy? I'm so glad that you said that because, Nicole, baby girl, you didn't even want to come off a camera. And look at you all beautified. I see you, Chica. I see you. I love it. I love it. Any other questions, comments, questions, comments? Yes. Questions or comments? We all good? We good? All right. Well, we're good. I'm good. Love you guys. Write those reviews. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rachel, let's talk tomorrow. I need to talk with you tomorrow sometime. Is that cool? All right. This is guys. Have a blessed night.